I'm going to take you to some magical sparkly worlds today. And honestly, I will show you that you don't need a lot of tools, no skills needed to create something super pretty. I would love you to get some watercolor paper, some watercolor paints, get some paper elements as well. If you don't have them, you can use some collage books, scrapbook paper, maybe die cut elements, whatever you own. Just look around your studio and let's start making those cards. I wish you to understand that creating something pretty doesn't mean that you always have to have pretty things only because it's really a matter of putting everything nicely together and coming up with the idea how to put these things, what to choose, what will make this wow effect. And in this case, I think it's everything together. A little bit of handmade, a little bit of painting, a little bit of cute elements and voila. As you can tell, I got ready plenty of papers because I really wanted to have tons of cards. And at first I thought I'm going to have them folded in half, but then I thought, no, actually they can be one sided. It's very easy to stamp uh, our bubbles with the glass, honestly. And then as you can tell, I'm not even having any technique with filling the color. Just get the color inside just this. I wish you to know there you go, that even kids can do it. Hannah is on my right hand side on the screen. She joined me and I was so delighted because we can do stuff together and this is something super easy. Yet, if you really think what to add, what to do, what to combine together, you can have something super special. A mass production cards, for example, if you need a lot and you don't uh, honestly need to have a lot of time either because I made that in no time. I have been looking through the books, the collage pages. I just love them to bits. You will see it for yourself. Uh, Cat Hannah choose, of course. You will see it for yourself that all of these elements here in the books are just gorgeousness. I couldn't make up my mind, to be honest. And I have been going through a few of my books that I have. The collection is growing. I totally adore them. I think what I love the most is the quality of the pictures. The fact that on the other side, you have something pretty as well, just in in case you need something different just in case you don't write the right hand side you can always use the left hand side paper then another book I just couldn't resist I was like how about making some beautiful pastel elements as well beautiful pastel bubbles and this is where the idea came to mix a little bit of regular colors with purples like that pretty crazy but then when I looked at it I was like this is it it's gonna be so pretty who said that Christmas has to be green and red. I don't think. I think it can be really anything you only wish. And those books are quite inspirational. Truth to be told, the colors of my bubbles have been inspired by those books. I looked through them before I started painting. And this is the little tip I wish you to have from me. Look through your elements and then decide about the colors of your um, bubbles because of the elements that you would love to use. Another one, another Christmas book. They just have so many of them and each of them is quite different unique different colors of this girl like I mean I didn't I didn't think I will go for this one but I just couldn't resist it it just took you too pretty and it's my favorite from all of the 14 cards I made she is going to be my absolute favorite and also I wish you to know that the collection of those bubbles when you start adding the final touches like a little string maybe doodles if you wish and then glitter of course makes everything so different those books are great because they have a selection and combination of different either color scheme or type and I love it because honestly I have been so tired of going through all my 12 by 12 12 papers for the past years and having everything in one book and truly so pretty as these are it's just such an easy way to work with and I can't wait for more books of them because it's just it's kind of like bringing everything it's like a library really you just grab the book because it's Christmas or because it's autumn or because it's Thanksgiving or because it's I don't know coffee team or maybe garden team this is quite amazing I have to say I fell in love with these books books uh, the moment I saw them. I'm pretty sure that in your collection you have plenty of papers with elements that you can fussy cut. So look through your 12 by 12 papers, all your collections that you gathered for the past years and get some pretty elements that they can be your focal points for those bubbles. I will be speeding up the process as well during this video because it's pretty straightforward. I hope you can tell. As you can see right now on the screen, we have been deciding which elements are going to which bubble. And it's quite important because it will all match 
match up and look good together so whether it's the green whether it's the little bit of a teal which color red which color more pinkish so deciding about the colors it's important as well then Hannah was saying mom my gingerbread is too small and of course I looked through gingerbread book she loved this book so very much I think I got this one mostly for her I somehow had a feeling she would absolutely love this one and of course she have decided for some pretty element from this book one was the birdie and another one I can't remember but she absolutely loved 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 this book look at them like all these elements in those books are pretty pretty super pretty and truth to be told it's very difficult to choose something and then I thought why choose like just have them all look at her hand she was like no this one not this one not this one next one she loved looking through this book and um, honestly what I love is that each of the elements it's super pretty from these books and I think this is the hardest part in a way because I would wish to use everything but then it's so amazing you have the book another one I love this one this one is gorgeous the vintage Christmas and the page on the left that you see right now it's gone I will be using that very very soon on the canvas or this one on the left or each like look at the left side it's crazy pretty. I just adore this book. I will definitely be, du be doubling this one because it's so, so, so pretty. The vintage, vintage feel, the vibe. It's really pretty. I absolutely adore this book. Uh, I don't know what I was saying because I have been distracted th through those uh, elements, but super pretty. And I love the idea that there are some color scheme as well on each page. So it's just so much easier to look through those books. And it's a little bit faster, to be honest, because a lot of times when I look at the left page, oh, I love it. A lot of times when I was looking through in my papers 12 by 12 papers there would be like one thing would be nice but another wouldn't match or something like that and I really was so happy that I can gather all these pretty elements and have them as one gorgeous set. Now I would love you to as well know that this is pretty easy technique that you don't need a lot of time. You don't need to think about it because the bubble itself, the card itself will happen just so easy as long as you just, oh, this is another tip. Put it under something heavy and <laughs> the dust dry, air dry. It's fantastic. It's super heavy. So time to do a little bit of bubbles. And I've been doing some snow globes as well, inspired by my recent snow globe on my Instagram. If you haven't seen it, you have to have to see it. And of course, a little bit of stamping it's always great to have this all together because you have a little bit of words you have some shine you have some cute elements and that's really it a little dots as well of the glue and the sparkles I knew it that this is what I'm gonna do Um, I at first I wanted some mixed media cards but somehow watercolor cards were like in my mind so much I was like this is it it's gonna be gorgeous look at it it is amazing like I couldn't resist it of course Hannah asked me to do globe on her one even though there is the line on top that we covered because <laughs> at first she wanted bubbles but when she saw the snow globe she was like mommy I would love a snow globe as well but all my bubbles have the lines already so here is how the kids are changing their mind and copying us of course she was next to me and she had a ball she loved every second of it and I would love you to as well encourage your friends and family uh, to actually be creative with such a, a lovely uh, video like this I think everyone can make something pretty and I will tell you one more little thing Emily has another tonsillitis, I think, or something else. Whatever is going on, she's like in the bed watching Formula One on Netflix. And I gave her all those elements and I said, Do you know what? Just fussy cut that. Please, pretty, please, pretty, please. Because I have so little time because I was doing real on my uh, Instagram and I was like so busy. So she fussy cut them all for me. So I was so happy that I didn't have to do it because honestly, I've been so busy doing all these videos uh, if you're not too sure about my Instagram if you haven't seen it you have to check it out if you didn't see the other YouTube channel with the beautiful cr beautiful like Christmas inspirations you have to see it all the links are in the description check it out please because there's so many amazing inspirations on those both places uh, but I somehow wanted to have some scrapbook watercolor inspiration on this channel and I thought this is so ideal we have a little bit of painting we have a little 
bit of uh, scrapbooking. I love it. I really hope you liked it as well because it's sometimes uh, too much to do for a card and we don't have that much time. But I think this is a great opportunity to not only use what you have, but do a little bit of painting and just feel good about making it more handmade. Like this one, a little handmade globe. I loved it, honestly. And it's it's really great way to use those papers. It's fantastic way super awesome and um, of course I encourage you to get the books because my collection is growing and I'm not stopping there and I saw already the bird one the butterfly book as well and I saw one more what was it oh I saw some boho Christmas it's gorgeous and I saw one more Thanksgiving uh, for USA friends it would be amazing I'm sure so uh, I think I'm going to make another Amazon purchase very, very soon because I couldn't help myself with these. I can't make up my mind. They're too cute. But look at them. So, so pretty. Uh, final touch is a little bit of a bow. And it's the, like, look at it. I'm so proud of them because they're so cute, so pretty, so easy. I hope you liked it, my friends. Let me know your thoughts and I'll chat to you very soon. I love you. Bye for now.